guys, Zyko Paradox here bringing you another video. Today what you're going to be watching is the Black Spindle quest. Now, to get the Black Spindle, you have to wait for the Lost to Light mission to be the Daily Heroic. And when it is the Daily Heroic, what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to do the mission as normal. And once you get to where Cougar or whatever the ogre's name is, um, and he gets taken, right, and then you have to run back. Instead of running all the way back to the beginning of the mission, what you're going to do is you go through the first door where you need one relic to open it. Then you go through the second door where you need two relics to open it. And then once you get past that, instead of going to the third door that needs three relics, you continue to where the Tanix mission would be. The Tanix strike from House of Wolves. You do that. And once you do that, you go up the catch in the first room of the Tanix strike. And you have ten minutes to take out all the Taken. Now, there's a lot of Taken. This is actually a pretty difficult challenge. You definitely need a Fire Team of Three. Exotic Sorbs help a lot. Storm Callers are really useful. And then, once you kill all of them, you get to the last room where Tanix is usually at to end the strike. And there's going to be a lot of Taken there and a boss will spawn. You have to kill the boss and all the Taken. The boss does not end the mission. You have to kill all the adds inside of the room as well. If you su successfully complete all of that in 10 minutes you're awarded with the black spindle now the black spindle is a really really good gun it's literally like the black hammer from year one except for it's exotic the impact's really good it's really good for the raid dpsing bosses it's real good um i recommend doing this if you can exotic swords help storm colors are really good um but if you can get this weapon it's a definitely must get because it's worth it in the long run for DPSing bosses. It makes your life in Destiny so much easier. I've enjoyed using it. It's a hell of a gun. Um, that's pretty much it for this video on how to get that. Now, what's going to be happening next on my channel is I'm editing a montage. A Trials of Osiris highlights montage. So you're going to be getting that sometime soon. I haven't uploaded in a while. been busy. But I'm glad that you guys are still here sticking it out. And I'm happy to be uploading for you again. Again, Trials of Osiris montage is coming soon. Hopefully, I can bring that to you sometime within the next couple days. I still have to edit it and get some clips and stuff. But I did end up going to the lighthouse twice on my Warlock and my Hunter. I didn't try on my Titan. Um, we did it in two consecutive runs. I was playing with a couple buddies of mine that I usually play Trials with. And we went flawless on my our first character. Didn't use our mercy. Switch over to our second character to try and do it again. And what happened was we ended up using our mercy with eight wins. And then we ended up clutching up in the last match and getting the ninth win to go to the lighthouse twice in a row. We were pretty hyped. New lighthouse emblem. I don't like it as much as the year one emblem. I'll probably still rock the year one emblem. But it is a very, very cool thing to do. And I recommend if you do any PvP at all in Destiny to definitely try and go flawless. It's tough. They made it a lot harder in year two. But it's definitely worth the effort if you can manage it. As always, guys, this is your boy, Zyko Paradox. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
down. down.